everyone? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have no makeup on yet, and that is because it is Wear Test Wednesday. Today, we are testing out... Oh, wait. Before I say this, I just want to let you guys know I'm down four and a half nails. So... Today we will be trying out the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. I am a little bit nervous about this foundation because I've used it on other people and I like the texture of it. Like it looks very nice and smooth. It actually has decent coverage and stuff like that. But I just get nervous because I know that it's an oil-based foundation. And with that, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to wear. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Under the what it is section, it says a revolutionary medium to full coverage skincare foundation fluid powered by 100% pure argan oil and nutrient rich pigments for vibrant glowing skin. Activate your skin's vitality with vibrancy argan oil foundation fluid. Like a fresh squeezed juice, Vibrancy utilizes a revolutionary cold press process that preserves the powerful hand selected ingredients for the freshest, most effective skincare foundation. Vibrancy energizes your skin with the essential nutrients it craves and is designed to interact and adapt to the movements of your skin with delicate Flu fluidity for a radiant dimensional finish. The breathable, lightweight, and medium to full coverage formula features a powerful blend of moisture enhancing ingredients that help soothe, smooth, and restore the skin's luminosity. Formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Suggested usage. Starting at the center of the face, blend and press vibrancy into skin using working outward... Okay. It's not just me. There, there's a typo or something here. Suggested usage. Starting at the center of the face, blend and press vibrancy into skin, working outward in sections. If desired, layer for additional coverage. So it says to press the foundation into the skin. So for that, look at this. I'm going to use one of my freshly cleaned Real Technique sponges. There is nothing better in the world than a fresh, clean sponge. I'm going to really press the importance of cleaning your brushes and your sponges because it is very important, especially if you have acne prone skin. So make sure that you're cleaning your brushes, brushes and sponges. That is one of the things that I want to get better at. All right, so let's get into applying this. As usual, I'm going to apply a primer to one side of my face, and I'm gonna use a dimethicone-based primer because I don't think that I have an oil-based primer, and I'm worried about using a water-based primer on this one. So I'm just gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because I don't wanna use a water-based primer in case it doesn't work well since it is an oil-based foundation. It has that R argan oil in it. So, yes. I'm gonna apply the primer on the right side of my face. So the reason I only apply a primer to one side of my face is because I want to see, just in case the primer and the foundation don't work well together, we can see it side by side. Like if it wears better or if the primer makes it break apart, you know? Like I wouldn't want to put a primer all over my face and then the foundation doesn't react well with that primer and then I blame the foundation for it, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I only apply a primer to one side of my face so I can see how it sits on my natural skin and also on top of a primer. So now there's no guarantee that this primer is going to work well with this foundation, but to the best of my knowledge, I think this is the one that I own that will work the best with it. So I have this shade Euphoric RG20 and it says to shake well. I'm just going to pump it onto my tray here. I'm going to start with two pumps and I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge to blend that in. So I'll apply it to the unprimed side first. I don't know what it is recently guys, but I have been like super into just not not really wearing like full coverage, you know? Like I've been pretty okay with just like a good old medium coverage foundation, you know what I'm saying? I have to say I'm pretty inspired by Jamie Page because all of the beauty bloggers that I followed, they all did full coverage foundation. Like they all wanted full, full coverage. And so I guess because of that, I felt like I needed to do full coverage too. Like it was just the thing to do until I started following Jamie Page. And she was like, always talks about how she likes a good medium, even sometimes sheer coverage, you know? And I was like, yeah, I don't have to have full coverage, you know? I can wear just medium coverage and let my skin shine through. 
let my skin look like skin you know what I'm saying and I think also part of it is like being too hard on myself in person because like whenever I look in the camera it looks really nice like my skin looks evened out and everything and it's just made me realize that I don't need as much makeup as I feel like I need you know what I'm saying because it appears different I think that we tend to be really hard on ourselves like there's any little tiny bit of redness peeking through we're like oh my gosh I have to cover that up but if we saw that same thing on somebody else we wouldn't think twice about it you know what I'm saying I want to just encourage you guys to think twice about like why are you wearing full coverage you know why do you feel like you have to cover up every little thing now of course it's different if you have like acne prone skin and you feel like you have a lot to cover you know you have a lot of breakouts and stuff like that that's totally understandable but you know I still want to encourage you wear your natural skin okay so it applied very very nicely on to the primed side so now I'm going in on the unprimed side everything looks very smooth and very very radiant so far oh look at that radiance it looks so beautiful I hope that this foundation wears well since it's an oil-based foundation I kind of feel like it's gonna end up slipping and sliding around but I could be totally wrong you never know I actually feel like it's sitting a lot better on the primed side than the unprimed side I like I feel like everything looks a little bit smoother like it's not clinging to as much texture on the unprimed side it, it looks like like I feel like this side looks like my skin and this side looks a little bit more like makeup from a distance they look pretty much the same you know what I'm saying but if you look up close I don't know maybe it's just that this one's been sitting on my skin longer and this one kind of needs a second to like really melt into the skin we shall see. I'm really nervous about putting like my concealer and stuff on top of it because like what if it doesn't wear well on top of the concealer? Like what if the oil makes my concealer break down or something? I don't know. But I am loving the radiance. I'm just gonna take like half a pump just so that I can blend it down my neck a little bit on this side. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's more texture on the unprimed side than there is on the prime side, which is fine. The primer's doing its job, you know what I'm saying? That's what primers are are there to do but the foundation by itself like if you're not a primer person I don't know if you'll like this one it doesn't look horrible it's just wouldn't be my first choice let's go ahead and well I'm gonna be doing a pretty dramatic eye look because I'm gonna record a tutorial today however I need to go and get on my computer and do a few things before I come back and film that so this is going to sit on my skin by itself for a little bit. I just want to throw my eyebrows on really quick though. Okay, so I did have to touch up the foundation a little bit on this side because I just went at my brows and like cleaned them up a little bit and my eyes started watering because <laughs> I'm a little baby pansy. So here is how the foundation is looking without anything else on it. I have no concealer, no setting powder, nada. I'm gonna go do some work on my computer really quick. So this foundation is going to sit on my face by itself for a little bit before I go and apply anything. I just don't wanna apply anything over it yet because I wanna film a tutorial and it's gonna be pretty dramatic and I might have some fallout, blah, 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 blah. So I don't wanna apply any concealer or powder or anything quite yet. So with all that said, this is my first check-in of the day and it is now 2.03, so I will be right back and I will probably be back with full glam on. So, see you in a little bit. Not vegan. Not vegan at all. Say hi, Josh. What? Say hi, birthday boy. You know, I. Okay. Say hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. As long as you don't. Hey, what's up? Uh, <laughs> that I never. That makes me so mad. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday to you. Do you feel 24 now? I feel like I want to go to Disneyland. All right, guys, it is now uh, almost 11.30. My cat is climbing on me, ouch. I am getting ready to close out this wear test, but I thought that I would do just a quick little check-in before I gave the final one, because I still have to take off the rest of my nails, and I know that's probably gonna take me a while. I don't know 
how long it's gonna take me so um, my foundation will still be sitting on my face for a little bit but everything else is pretty much disintegrating I'm having a little bit of black with my eyeliner smudging underneath which I don't usually use this eyeliner so I don't know I seem to always have that problem no matter what and my lashes are coming off a little bit because I did not press them in properly. My cat needs a lot of attention right now. Hello, coconut. So anyways, I have to say I'm not loving this foundation, but I'm not hating it. Like, I just feel very neutral. I feel like, you know, it's wearing off in the typical areas that it wears off. However, I feel like it's wearing off very naturally. Like it doesn't feel like it's getting really patchy. It doesn't feel like it, I don't know, is like separating and stuff like that. It just feels like it's wearing off naturally, if that makes sense. Like instead of it getting PC and patchy and stuff like that, it's just kind of wearing off slowly and nicely, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like around my chin, it still looks pretty good. Um, my nose area is really the main place where I feel like it's worn off. I'm actually really liking the way that it looks on my forehead. It looks very, uh, like my forehead usually by this time starts to look really dehydrated. Um, you can really see my fine lines and stuff like that. But I feel like it looks really nice and hydrated and that's probably because of that argan oil that's in it. So I don't know, I feel like I will be reaching for this foundation again. Honestly, the only thing that I wish right now is that it had SPF in it because it would be like a really nice daily wear foundation because it is so good for your skin with that argan oil in it. I don't think that this foundation would be good. Say hi, birthday boy. What are you doing? Why are you doing this in here? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Why are you doing this in here? I don't think that this foundation would be good for oily skin by any means, um, but I don't think that it claimed to be good for oily skin. So I'm gonna do my final check in in a little bit. I'm gonna do my final check in in a little bit, but that's where we are right now, um, almost at the end of the day. So I'll see you guys in a minute. In a in a min. In a min. All right, you guys, so this is my final check-in of the night. It's not much later than it was in my previous check-in. It's just 12.04. I just wanted to hop in and do my last check-in with my studio lights and my Canon camera and everything in between. As you can see, all my makeup is disintegrating. My lashes are coming up a little bit. Yeah, but my foundation, I say, is still going pretty strong. I'm gonna grab a mirror here. Like I said in my previous check-in, it's definitely wearing off around the nose area, but I feel like it's wearing off very evenly, has worn off on my chin quite a bit. It doesn't feel like it's gotten super patchy or looks super textured or anything like that. It's just like worn very naturally naturally, which if a foundation is going to wear away, I want it to wear away in that way, you know, to where it doesn't start getting blotchy and patchy and looking weird. And quite honestly, I really like the way that it looks on my forehead. And I feel like it really has preserved some radiance throughout the day, but I haven't turned into an oil slick, but I just feel like, especially on my forehead, and I'm very picky about how foundations look on my forehead. I mean, look at how nice and smooth it looks. That's really hard to make my forehead look like that. And I feel like that's because of the argan oil that's in it. That's keeping it really nice and hydrated. And keeping your skin hydrated is the most helpful thing whenever you're looking for that nice, smooth, even application. So yeah, with my forehead looking like that, I'm pretty dang pleased with this foundation. Like I said, the only thing that I wish is that it had a SPF in it so that it would be a great daily wear foundation, but that's not to say that you can't use a setting spray with SPF in it or an SPF underneath it, obviously. However, I have noticed that like my bronzer has gotten quite patchy and honestly I'm assuming it's because of the argan oil in this foundation why my bronzer hasn't worn well. It does look a little bit better on this side but it still does look like it's worn a little bit patchy. My guess is that the oil from the foundation has kind of broken that bronzer down a little bit but if you did a bronzer with like cornstarch in it like the ones from Bare Minerals now they do have a little bit of a shimmer and a sheen to them but that cornstarch will really help to absorb that oil throughout the day which is a tip for you guys if a product has cornstarch in it it will help to absorb the oil throughout the day so it won't like it'll at least prevent it from getting patchy so if you have naturally oily skin look for a bronzer or something like that if you have powders that typically like wear off or get 
get patchy throughout the day, you can look for a bronzer or a powder that has cornstarch in it. So Bare Minerals has one. All right, you guys. So that pretty much closes out this wear test. I am going to go ahead and say that I like this foundation, but I don't love it. However, since I don't hate it, I'm going to say, yeah, I think that it's really nice, especially if you have dry skin. This would be a great foundation to keep your skin hydrated, looking plump, looking fresh throughout the day. It may require a little bit of touching up, but if you're okay with that, I think it is a great foundation. Hold on. I wanted to give you guys the price on it because I don't think that I told you guys the price. So this retails for $45. And with the kind of hydration and the way that it wore throughout the day, I don't think I would go out of my way for it at $45. If it were like a drugstore foundation it looked this nice throughout the day, I think I would go out of my way for it, but we'll see. I mean, I may find myself reaching for it more often than not, you know what I'm saying? Because I do like how hydrated it has kept my skin. It's not something that's gonna give you full coverage, so if you're okay with a medium to sheer coverage, then it's definitely for you. And if you have dry skin, then it's definitely for you. I do say try this guy out. If you're not sure if you want to spend the full $45 quite yet, then uh, get a sample of it from Sephora and test it out yourself. So that is pretty much it. That closes out this wear test, like I've said for the 5 millionth time. <laughs> Let me know what products you would like to see me put to the test next. And I will see you all in Friday's video. Bye. <laughs>